Mr O'Flynn on behalf of the EFDD, one minute. Thank you. Earlier this month, World University Rankings placed Oxford and Cambridge as the top two universities in the world. That league table made clear that Britain is Europe's higher education superpower. Imperial College was also in the global top ten, but the only other European institution there was based in Zurich, outside the EU. Indeed, there was no non-British EU university within the top 20. This is an indication that one of the great challenges for the future of Erasmus Plus will be to continue to secure access to UK universities. Without them, the programme will be greatly denuded. So I implore the EU to be sensible in accepting the British offer of continued friendship and cooperation and not to allow the Brexit process to turn into a means of trying to punish the British people for their democratic decision. There's willingness in Britain to continue to facilitate the flow of outstanding EU students to our great universities. It would be the height of folly to put that in jeopardy through the adoption of a hostile posture on Brexit.